Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn how to perform the PostgreSQL benchmark using the uh, tool which is called as PG Bank. So we are going to perform the demo. So uh, as usual, everything is uh, mentioned on a notepad and we are going to follow through it. The first question which comes in mind, how can we perform a PostgreSQL database benchmarking with some default tools? So by default, uh, PostgreSQL is uh, shipped with the uh, utility which is called as PG Bench and uh, PG Bench can be used as a benchmark testing tool for the PostgreSQL. What it does, it, it executes the same sequence of uh, SQL commands in, uh, in uh, multiple uh, numbers and what it do, does, it, it throws uh, n number of uh, concurrent sessions to the database in terms of select, update, insert and delete uh, per transaction. So what, what it will do, it will try to generate some kind of load on your database and uh, this will be showcased as the uh, transaction per second. Like what is, if, if you throw a number of sessions, how your database is going to perform. So we will quickly see how to do that. Before uh, moving further, you we need to understand uh, like uh, PG Bench, it is available in the uh, default uh, bin directory where your Postgre binaries are uh, installed by default. So we'll go there and we'll see uh, what is the location. So I have Postgre 13 installed and it is available at this particular location. So instead of PG 12, this will be PG 13. And if you do ls over here, you can see there is a utility called PG Bench, and that will be used for regression uh, testing for PostgreSQL. What we will do is uh, we'll try with the small database, something which is going to fit in our uh, shared buffer. Uh, the, the one which we installed by default that is having 128 MB of uh, shared buffer, but we, for this scenario, we are going to increase it a bit will make it some 256 or depending upon the requirement you have and then you can uh, progress accordingly. So what we will do is we will create a, a separate instance also for that. And you need to take in, in consideration like there are two important parts which you uh, need to understand. One is the shared buffer. Ensure that you have ensured uh, you have the enough uh, shared buffer so that your uh, database can reside over there and the default uh, wall buffer. So uh, what we will do is uh, I'm going to create a directory wherein I'm going to initialize a new instance and there we will try to do the testing. So I have already done it somewhere. I'm going to remove it. Okay, I think it's already removed. I'm just going to create a directory where uh, the new instance will be deployed. This directory is created. Uh, this should be empty. Yes, this is empty. And what we will do now is we will export the PG data to this location. We have exported the PG data. And the next thing which we will do is we will export the PG log just to check uh, what's been returned in the log file just in case we face some error and the other thing which we will do is we'll export the path location also in case we get some error like command not found or something like that if your uh, putty session is unable to locate the binary which you are trying to execute all right so now we are going to initialize so we'll say in a db shared buffer let's make uh, 250 mb 256 mb let me see what is there available. We have around 800 MB. Out of that 250, we will try to give for this particular demo. So I'll say init db shared buffer equal to 256 MB, wall buffer 16 MB, and this value will be inserted in postgresql.conf. The two values, one is shared buffer and another is wall buffer. Let's execute the uh, instance is initialized so you should have the uh, relevant uh, files and directories created over here it is done and uh, you have the required shared buffer and wall buffers also inserted uh, with the required information now what we will do is let's start the instance if everything is fine this will come up the instance is started now the next thing which we will do is 
for initializing PG Bank, what we will do, we will create a database. So to create the database, let's do like this. I do not have any database with the name PG Bench, so I'll just say and say create DB PG Bench. This is created. And the next thing which we will do is we have to initialize this so that the data will be populated. pgbench i and the database name. This is going to be initialized. This is initialized. Just let's cross check slash l list of the databases. You have pgbench over here. And if you connect to pgbench and you say the the tables you will be able to see pgn bench underscore account branches history and uh, tellers they are available now the next thing which you have to do is you have to start uh, the regression testing okay we'll start with this it has to be executed on the shell we'll come out of this and we'll say pg bench hyphen c 50 hyphen let's make it 10 and let's make it 50 and we'll see how it behaves so you can see the number of clients which we have given hyphen c stands for the client which is 10 number of threads it is 2 uh, how many cores you have on your this i have just one cpu and uh, the number of transaction per client it is 50 so the number of transaction what is processed is 10 into 50 that is uh, 500 and the latency average you can see it is 11.8 milliseconds and uh, these are the two different criteria one is including connection establishing another is excluding connection establishing let's increase this a little bit instead of 10 will make it 50 and instead of 50 will make it 100 so instead of 500 transactions we are going to throw 5000 transactions and we will see what is the latency average you can see the latency average is almost uh, reached eight eight times here it was some uh, 11.862 millisecond and now it has uh, uh, spiked up to 80 so this way you can try to see uh, how the regression testing works for a new release or if something is is uh, you can create your uh, own uh, scripts so that it will uh, uh, do some artificial uh, bombardment on your database and you will be able to see uh, the uh, the uh, uh, what kind uh, how your database performance behaves in terms of the uh, regression testing so this is just basic about the pg bench and how it can be used this is a good uh, utility for performing the uh, basic test and something like that i hope this is going to help and uh, thank you